what is up guys this is hero back with another video and today in this video i'm going to be showing you the boat rockers 335 and this is a neck band style bluetooth headset and today in this video i'm going to be unboxing it and also going to be showing you my impressions and kind of a full review you may call it because i have been using it for about like a week almost or more than that so yeah here are my impressions and kind of a review of this product and yes i bought it with my own money and i did not like get a review unit or something but i needed a neck band style bluetooth headset and i have been enjoying this one pretty much amazingly well the box is pretty simplistic as you are noticing and it has this like sky kind of color because this product itself is a sky kind of color as you are noticing whatever color you are gonna order you're gonna get that kind of colored box i guess so yeah that is great talking about the box let's look at the box contents over here Okay, so this is how the Boat Rocker 335's packaging looks like and if you look at it closely, there are three features mentioned over here which are kind of highlighted that is Qualcomm Aptex HD. Aptex is quite normal, I guess, but the HD feature is quite like rare and here it has the Qualcomm Aptex HD. Also, it has the Qualcomm CVC call noise isolation. So that is great. It comes with these kind of features. And talking about the pricing of this Rockers 335, I would say yes, you can get it for about 1600 rupees normally. But here I have ordered it on a Flipkart offer and for that I got it just for 1300 rupees or 1299. And that I feel an amazing deal. And I really like wanted a neckband kind of headset which has a type C port for charging and stuff because most of the phones has the type C charging. So yeah, it is pretty much 2021. So it's really like great to have a type C charging headset in my personal opinion. And if you look at the back of this box, as you can see, there is the advanced Bluetooth 5.0 and there is some other things like type C charging and stuff and SAP charging is there. Also, there is the 10 mm drivers mentioned dual pairing option is there up to 30 hours of playback. So really good battery life it should offer and low power consumption chipset and the IPX5 certification is also there and it also shows the package contents over here and on the sides it only has this boat logo up there and this is how the bottom section looks like and this is all you get yes the packaging is not that fancy but the headset should be and here let me just open this headset from this packaging so let's just keep this headset aside and right now let's just see all other things. This is what I like about this brand that it doesn't focus on packaging much but it does focus on the product like a lot more. You get this USB Type-C to normal USB port over here, USB A to USB Type-C. So yeah, pretty cool. You can use it for charging if you want to but I'm gonna of course use my phone's charger, ear tips and a boat base head sticker or something, boat head sticker as you can see. And we have these like ear tips over here. We get only two extra pair of ear tips. And this one is just a catalog paperwork of boats like other products, I guess. So let's just keep that aside. And this is the warranty card over here, which says one year warranty. And there we have the user manual. So you can read it out if you want to get into the user manual stuff. And here we also have the package contents listed. Now let's just take a closer look on the neck band itself and the band is pretty flexible as you can see and it definitely feels really well in the hand I would say and this part over here the most interesting thing in my opinion this part that you are noticing these are metal so as you are noticing this is like quite great that you are getting metal built over here on this particular like two sections over here and also the earphones does have magnets but Definitely it only has magnets. It does not have the play pause kind of feature, I guess. And both of them does simply attach on like together over here with the magnets. And yes, these earphones are like in the back as you are noticing these parts over here are metal over here. So yeah, pretty solid build quality in my opinion. And there is also some plastic over here. So let me just peel them off. The wire quality seems to be good enough over here but I'm not really sure how it will fare in long term because I already have a Mi Sports headset that is like already tiered with the wires so yeah and here it has this right or left kind of like mentions over here as you are noticing it shows L over here and it shows R over here so on the left side we have the boat branding and nothing else so yeah this part only contains the battery I guess and here we have the like USB-C port, I guess. Let me just open it. 
so yeah inside the flap we have the USB-C port over here for charging of course and you can just close it up and this is the call receiving or powering on or whatever you may call it like the main button over here and there is the volume minus and the volume plus button and that's it there we have the mic over here i guess now let's talk about the build quality over here what do i think well i would say this is a pretty great kind of build quality that you're getting for the price again and this one has the ipx5 that means it is splash and sweat resistant so that is great and it has a little bit of waterproofing kind of thing but don't like submerge it on the water or something so yeah and I would say in terms of build quality, these two parts over here are completely metal. So these do feel literally a really good quality product in terms of the like price to performance ratio. Like in even in this price segment, you're not going to get this kind of metal like build all over the headset. And even this like the earphones itself are like metallic over here. So yeah, they do have magnets, but the magnets do not have any kind of functionality like if you join them like this it does not pause or play the music and talking about the wire quality it seems great it's not a flat wire i would have loved it to be a flat wire but like i can say that the wire quality is good enough it's not bad at all it definitely is kind of a solid rubbery kind of wire over here so yeah no problems with the wires build quality in my personal opinion now let's talk about the ear tips or the ear plugs kind of over here and I have changed them to the Mi Dual Driver headphones ear tips because the stock ones did not feel that great. I would say the only thing that is not great in build quality in this particular headset, I would say is the ear tips over here. I do not like the Bose ear tips. They are pretty hard and doesn't feel good inside the ear. So that's why I have changed them. And right now it is a completely different experience and I have been getting really good quality comfort over here with these Mi Dual Driver headphones or if you have any headphones lying around just use their ear tips I would say if you don't like the Bose 335 ear tips. This is the only drawback I have seen with these headphones. And I have also removed the horn looking kind of thing so yeah and I don't like that it may cause some problems while I'm listening to the audio like for a long time so yeah I feel right now it is much more comfortable without the horn and with the like me dual driver headphones ear tips one more thing that I would say a bummer in this headset is that like this play and pause button does work fine but once I click on them the play and pause delay is quite a lot in like most of the apps and I have seen that once I push this play or pause button it may like pause it after five seconds or four to five seconds in my opinion so yeah that happens there is a delay whenever you are clicking this button and there is a delay in play and pausing the music so yeah that's how it is as of right now now let's talk about the other most important thing is the battery life like on any bluetooth headset you're gonna like if it runs out of battery really quickly it's gonna be of no use so here let's talk about the battery life and i have never imagined a bluetooth headset with this kind of battery life and in my personal opinion you can like definitely go for this headset if you want a really great battery life headset you can definitely go for this with your closed eyes because let me tell you what happened when i opened the box this one had 100 percent battery so i did not charge it at all i have used the headset as much as i could without going crazy and i used it for like most of the time in the days and after two days of usage at the night time like on 12 30 am on the second day's night i saw the battery dropped about 40 percent just imagine that 40 percent battery drop after two days of heavy usage of a bluetooth headset and here it can definitely last you about three to four days if you are a normal user then it can definitely last you a four long day kind of battery life over here you should not worry about the battery life on these headsets they are amazing like the battery life is no complaints hands down the best i have ever seen in a bluetooth headset so now let's talk about the charging quickly after those two days when i used heavily and the battery dropped about 40 percent then i put the headset on charging because it offers a type c charging so i thought it's gonna be charging really quickly so that actually happened and i plugged in my usb charger that is a 33 watt charger but you can use any like 18 watt 10 watt charging that should be working fine but with the 33 watt charger i have tested here with that from that 40 percent to 100 percent let me tell you how much time it took 26 minutes just 26 minutes to charge this headset fully 
from the usage I have done like 40% to 100%. So even if you are charging the headset from 0% to 100%, that will take about 30 to 40 minutes according to the brand. And it is actually true. It's not like some kind of false claim or something that I can pretty much say because like from 40 to 100%, if it can charge like in 26 minutes, that's just amazing. And while charging the light, you are gonna see the notification kind of light on the headset glows like red. And when the charging is done, it glows blue. So that's how it charges. And very convenient here that you are getting USB-C charging for this kind of price. And talking about the battery life again, uh, let me tell you, let me give you a perspective. Like I have charged it only once after buying it and using it of like for one week. Right now, I did not do the second time charging. Right now, it has the 80% battery left. That's how good the battery life is over here. Amazing. Now, let's talk about the sound clarity. Well, here I would say this one, if you're getting it, the sound quality is gonna be one of the best that you can get for this budget or even if you're going like 2000 3000 rupees budget i would say the sound quality over here is gonna be one of the best out there yes it does not have anc or something but without that the sound quality is great and here you're getting like really good punchy bass if you're someone who listens to indian music a lot you're gonna love the sound of these headphones and in my personal opinion the sound of these headphones are just amazing again for the price the like vocal quality might be a little bit in the like cave kind of side once you hear it in the full volume but yes you're not gonna listen to these in full volume they are too loud over here the loudness is just too much i listen to it like in 60 to 70 percent volume most of the time or even 80 to 90 percent volume when i'm listening to heavy punchy music over here so yeah and if i'm listening to alt or something then only i put the music to 100 percent so yeah, that's how it is. The quality of the music is great over here. No issues with the sound quality of these headphones. And I would say you're gonna get one of the best kind of sound quality over here if you're getting these headphones. And I would say yes, do not compare it with the Mi Dual Driver headphone or something because they are wired headset. Wire always will have better sound quality in any competition over here. If you're going wireless and wired, of course the wired will be a lot better in quality. So yeah, Mi Dual Driver does sound a lot better in quality than these. But yeah, the loudness and the bass is much heavier on these headset. And I also had used the Mi Sports Bluetooth headset. And with that, I would say the sound quality here is much, much better. And that one just ripped apart in like one month. The mic stopped working. Then I replaced that one like with the, I ordered the black one. So I replaced it with another white one they gave me from the service center. But even on that unit, like even on this unit, the like mic stopped working after one month of usage. But I'm not really sure how it will fare with this headphone. But I would say the mic quality over here, if you are worried about that, let me give you an example of the mic quality. So this is how the Boat Rockers 335's mic sounds like. And I'm wearing it right now. And I'll stay quiet for a little bit so that you can hear the noise. And while calling and stuff, the other party never complained. So the mic quality seems to be good enough over here. For basic calls and stuff, it should be working totally fine. Now let's talk about gaming with these Boat Rockers 335. In my personal opinion, yes, there is a delay and there will be a delay if you're using this headset for competitive gaming or something. I would say don't use that. Just use a wired headset or something if you're a competitive gamer. So that's how it is. Like for gaming, Bluetooth headsets are not gonna be that great in most of the cases. So yeah, there is a little bit of delay in the Bluetooth kind of like transmission over here. That's how it is as of right now. The range is quite great on these headphones and I have went to like other rooms and stuff when my phone was in this particular room and even like it works in terms of the specifications it works in like 10 meters range so yeah 10 meters is quite long even if like there is a lot of walls and like obstacles I would say it can work pretty much in 5 meters amazingly well no issues whatsoever. Now let's talk about pairing well in some headsets pairing is a little bit complicated and stuff. But here that's not the case once you disconnect your bluetooth and like once you disconnect from one particular device you can connect it to another device right away and i can i think you can use it with like two devices simultaneously but not that sure how it will work but yeah i have used it only like one device at a time and that worked flawlessly well and pairing is a lot simpler over here just like disconnect it from one device and the headphone will go in the pairing mode then you can pair in like any kind of device 
so yeah that's how it is the pairing is very simplistic and i like that so right now it is priced at i think 1600 rupees and even for that price in my personal opinion this is gonna be one of the best that you can get out there the best build quality the best sound quality the best battery life the best fast charging everything of the best that you are getting in this price segment and that's the most important thing about this like neck band style bluetooth headset now i got it for just 12.99 in the offer i posted it in the community app i don't know if you guys have seen that but yeah i got it in a really amazing deal just for 1300 rupees it becomes a killer deal nothing can beat this headset in my personal opinion in that price segment and of course there are plenty of colors you can choose from like black and yellow then the blue one this one and there is also a blue and black i guess and the red and black and every color are there and i would say pretty much you are going to get plethora of color options so you can choose from any kind of colors that you would like also let's talk about one more problem over here that is like if you have in band or 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi in your house you might be having some problems while streaming like music or streaming any kind of youtube videos or something because even in bluetooth 5.0 it like works in 2.4 gigahertz so that's how it is so yeah even wi-fi is 2.4 gigahertz so both bands like clash into each other i think so so that's the reason why once you are listening to music only when you are completely listening to music whenever you pause the music the speed will go up but let me tell you once you are streaming something like with the phone and with the headset the speeds of wi-fi will drop so you have to be careful with that if you have a in-band wi-fi router in your house you need to be careful with that if you have 5 gigahertz wi-fi you should not worry about it at all like if you have any more kind of bands like Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 5, everything should work fine over here. Only the 2.4 gigahertz band Wi-Fi if you have, that is the most common one. So that's how it is. Even I have an in-band router. So that is why I face this issue that the speed drops and it happens with all Bluetooth devices. It's not like happening with only this Bluetooth headset. It happens. I have tested that with all Bluetooth headset. It does happen. And one more thing is that it dangles around a little bit. Like as you're noticing, the wire is just... It, it should have been better if the wire was here and we could like put the headset just like this so yeah that's not the case over here it has the wires like dangling around from here so you need to be careful with that so you get my point right it dangles around that's how it is and that's not a huge issue but yeah that's how it is one more thing here that i'm going to talk about that like after changing these ear tips i changed it from the stock one to the meat wheel driver one again and even with these ones and even the stock one it used to happen that uh, like whenever i'm putting the headset just like this it makes a little bit of creaking noise i'm not really sure why it does that but yeah it does that kind of creaking noise it happens on both the earphones even in this one i have tried some other ear tips with those two it does happen so yeah i would say in other headset it does not do that but here in this particular headset i have seen it happening whenever i'm putting the earphones just like this and when i press it or even if i lie down in the bed or something and the pillow touches here and that's when it makes that kind of clicking or creaking noise so yeah that's how it is i have never seen that in other headphones but it, with this one i have seen this problem not a huge one but yes it might be a little bit of issue if you're really nitpicky about stuff so that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching this video and please hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and please share this video with your friends if you want them to know about this boat rocker 335 and if you want to show them this headset and if they are looking for a Bluetooth headset, they can definitely look at this headset. It is a really great option in my opinion for the price again. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be guys you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.